domestic violence victim advocates pushed for it for close to a decade. And now a new state law that goes into effect on New Year's could offer some help. The new law closes a gap in coverage, so to speak, when it comes to emergency protective orders. WKYT's Miranda Combs explains in a story that's new at 6. The crime scene pictures are more than six years old, but it's one of the most high profile cases of domestic violence Kentucky has seen. Amanda Ross gunned down by former state legislator Steve Nunn. Ross had an emergency protective order or EPO against Nunn. It would prove to be of little help, though. However, its idea to give immediate protection is a safeguard for many, and now a new bill will allow it to help even more. We've been talking about it as a coalition, as advocates for many, many years. Darlene Thomas runs Greenhouse 17, a domestic violence shelter where thousands are protected and learn to move on past their past. It's situational. Domestic violence does not discriminate. It doesn't care if you're married or have a child in common. And that's the reason for the almost decade-long push for protection for dating partners. It was a gap. It was a gap in service that those of us in this field had very little recourse except for criminal charges. The law up until January 1 of 2016 has allowed for EPOs only if a person is married to the other, lives with the other person, or has a child in common. Violence suffered in a dating relationship was not covered. And they need something immediate to, that would protect them. Um, and we didn't have access to that until now. This is key. This is crucial. State Senator Whitney Westerfield co authored House Bill 8. It still took too daggum long, uh, but I'm thankful for it and proud of it. Westerfield says the bill brings Kentucky up to date with most other states on creating protections for people in dating relationships. Instead of an EPO, they will be IPOs, Interpersonal Protective Orders. Westerfield says this addition has come up in about nine past legislative sessions. And in 2015, we finally pulled it off. The bill was signed in early 2015, but won't be law until January 1st of 2016. So it takes some time to make sure everybody's on the same page. It's an important issue. Fayette County District Court Clerk Vincent Riggs has now been trained, along with his court judges, to handle the IPOs. There's a there's a list. Um, that the judges will look at um, to define if th this person is or is not in a dating relationship. Riggs doesn't believe the new law will crowd the courts with new orders. He says other states already doing this haven't had many problems. We do expect some, but we don't expect it to be overwhelming. But we're prepared either way. Interpersonal violence does not discriminate. And those that have been pushing this for years? We are ecstatic that it's been a long journey. In Lexington, Miranda Combs, WKYT. The new IPOs also cover stalking and sexual assault. The law goes into effect again on Friday.